Congratulations, Girl Scouts. Today, we are celebrating girls who have earned the Girl Scout Bronze or Silver Award. The Bronze Award is the highest award earned by a Girl Scout Junior, and the Silver Award is the highest award earned by a Girl Scout Cadet. To earn these awards, you first completed a journey in your level, then you designed your project and carried out your plan to completion. Thanks to your hard work, you made a positive impact on our community. And I know you will agree that your project also had a positive impact on you as well. You are a source of pride for the adults who have watched you grow and excel, and a role model in our community. Now, you are a reflection of the Girl Scout mission, a girl of courage, confidence, and character who makes the world a better place. I can't wait to see what you do next. Congratulations once again, Girl Scouts. Good evening and thank you all for joining us today. We are so excited to be hosting this special virtual event in honor of this year's Bronze and Silver Award recipients. These are Girl Scouts who completed their Bronze or Silver Awards between April 2021 and March 2022. This ceremony includes the nearly 80 service projects that Girl Scout juniors and cadets from our council dedicated their time and talents into in order to serve their communities, and we couldn't be more amazed and inspired by these girls' actions. Let's jump into the ceremony and recognize each project that was completed by Go-Getter Girl Scouts. Girl Scout Juniors, girls who are in 4th or 5th grade, can earn the Girl Scout Bronze Award. We will start with our Bronze Award recipients. When Girl Scout Juniors venture out on their own or team up to make a difference in their community, they learn important leadership skills, discover new passions, and watch how seemingly small actions make a big difference. It all adds up to the Girl Scout Bronze Award, the highest honor a junior can earn. We will now recognize, in order of troop number, the girls who earned their bronze award during the aforementioned time period. First up is Troop 18. Girl Scouts Olivia, Abigail, Josephine, Brooke, Kira, Chloe, Marissa, Blake, London, Tegan, and Olivia met with community leaders in the foster care system to understand the needs of children facing difficult circumstances and then they rallied together to provide bags full of items needed to bring comfort and dignity to those children with the support of Connect with a Wish, a nonprofit organization. Next, we have Troop 53. Marley and Lillian were able to donate over 600 ear savers that they sewed. These juniors donated the devices to Maryview Medical Center, local home health companies, doctor's offices, and beyond. Ear savers provide comfort to professionals who wear masks for long hours while helping keep the community safe in their roles. Troop 40, Amari, Kyla, Zariah, and Amaya created starter kits for new troops in their service unit, Service Unit 270. Each provided new troops with supplies while they got established like a journey book and crafting supplies for some first meeting fun. Troop 76, Marley, Caroline, Nicole, and Katie partnered with the Virginia Aquarium to learn about the harm plastic can cause our sea life. They researched and learned both the harms of plastic in the environment and ways to reduce these hazards. Together, they sewed over 100 reusable shopping bags and distributed them for free at neighborhood farmers markets. Simone, Adeline, Allison, and Elena got together to create nesting hammocks for donation to support local wildlife. Emmeline of Troop 192 landscaped the area around the pond at a place for girls and created an outdoor game that girls can play to have fun and make new friends. Mackenzie of Troop 204 rallied the support of family and friends to make donations to the Virginia Beach SPCA. Mackenzie even requested donations in lieu of birthday presents last year because of her love of animals and making donations is so strong. 
Emily, Gabriella, Kylie, and Gabriella volunteered their time at JCOC Homeless Shelter and planned, prepared, and delivered meals to those in need. Troop 235, Grace, Taylor, Alexis, Analea, Ariel, Annabella, and Jayla worked together to design and decorate a calming center for preschoolers at Mother's Day Out Preschool and Kindergarten. They painted the room, sewed curtains for the windows, made pillows, and created sensory bins, and beyond. McKenna and Zoe of Troop 256 came up with the idea to help children in need and allowed them to have birthday parties and all the supplies needed to make it happen. Zoe and McKenna collected cake mix, frosting, balloons, birthday cards, and more, enough supplies for 130 birthday boxes, and took the donations to several church and food pantries. Morgan chose to help the SPCA in Norfolk by making toys for the dogs. Morgan collected soda bottles and water bottles and got donations from Fabric Hut in Norfolk to make chew toys for dogs at the Norfolk SPCA. Ava decided to help out her local homeless shelter and collected several bagfuls and boxes full of items ranging in sizes and toys as well to donate to those in need. Peyton rallied the support of her community by collecting used medicine bottles for donation to veterinary clinics. When bottles are reused, pet owners can save money on medication refills needed for their furry friends. Sabrina delivered flyers to her neighborhood asking for donations to support the Norfolk Animal Care Adoption Center. She also used materials she had at home and some collected from friends and family to make toys for the animals at the adoption shelter. Chloe, Evie, Braylon, Sydney, Lauren, Tessa, Alexa, Andalyn, Sydney, and Amelia picked out 10 different locations within the Outback and wrote clues and developed stamps that helped them make a new letterboxing trail in the Outback. Troop 329, Alicia, Anissa, Layla, Leia, Shanice, Corey, Anaya, Cadence, Anaya, and Katrina worked together to create craft kits for children at CHKD with activities like drawing, cartoon trivia, watercolors, paper bag puppets, and more. Each girl packaged their projects into individual sets so that the patients can complete the projects on their own time. Nora worked with the Norfolk Public Library and the W.H. Taylor Elementary PTA to host a free book day for children who attended the school. Over 1,500 books were collected from the school community and $700 in new books were purchased from Scholastic for donation. Elena and Zoe worked on encouraging the school community to reduce, reuse, and recycle. They hosted a neighborhood cleanup day and wove plastic bags into mats. Once the mats were completed, they were donated to Forest School Program at Paradise Park. Wren decided to start a seed library at the Norfolk Public Library with wildflower seeds and instructions for her community to plant their own gardens. Riley made over 60 hygiene and blessing kits for the Judeo-Christian Outreach Homeless Center through donations she received from the local community. Araya, Marini, and Morgan learned that the Lil Roar Cat Rescue was in need of cat shelters and made six insulated cat shelters using large plastic tubs. Troop 488, Danielle, Lily, Reagan, Mary, Eve, Sarah, and Reese visited the Norfolk SPCA and researched with the assistance of staff what they can do to help the animals in the shelter. They found that donations were incredibly helpful and they learned how to make items that could be donated along with receiving some from the community. 
Ariana, Ellie, Lauren, Alexa, and Alicia of Troop 499 were concerned about their peers spending too much time on devices and wanted to help kids get outside. They planned an outdoor fun day with lots of activities like cornhole and kickball and developed a flyer for the event. They even advertised the event on Eventbrite to get the word out. Ashlyn, Cadence, Lillian, and Abby heard that there was a need for homes and supplies for injured wild animals and they jumped at the opportunity to help. In total, the girls made three boxes to provide to Evelyn's Wildlife Refuge that provide a habitat for animals. To spread the word about their project, they designed and delivered a presentation to family and friends. Troop 723, Callie, Marissa, Addison, Carly, Anastasia, and Olivia earned their bronze award through their bag drive project to support the Albemarle Hope Line. They learned that many people, especially women in domestic violence situations, needed help getting out of their situations and felt that they could help provide some comfort and dignity to those in need. Cora earned her bronze award by corresponding with the Chesapeake Regional Medical Center staff to create a memorial garden. She engraved a beautiful sign to commemorate all those that were lost, all who suffered, and those that helped the victims of COVID-19. She was able to give a speech in front of hospital administration and had a wonderful event. Troop 778, Madison, Samantha, Violet, Jadalyn, and Cheyenne made an enclosure for Evelyn's Wildlife Refuge. They also made a video for the community to help educate about the work of Evelyn's Wildlife Refuge, the kind of animals they care for, and asked for donations to support the cause. After a family friend was injured, Calliope decided to help make their life easier by helping take care of their dog daily doing household tasks, and even decorated their home for the holidays. Charlotte, Isabel, Adiana, and Nora decided to help neighbors in their community and earn their bronze award along the way, from helping a senior citizen manage their yard to doing litter pickup, they learned all about what it takes to be a good neighbor. Arna, Molly, Zaley, Lily, Sophia, Carly, Leah, McKenna, Kenna, Taylor, and Lola put together positivity bags for children under advocacy services. They voted on items to an order and included them in the 50 positivity bags they assembled. Allison, McKenna, and Catherine were able to collect about 598 books for their little library that they constructed and placed outside of a local apartment complex. Troop 1119, Brooke, Sydney, and Samara wanted to build, fill, and donate a free little library to their local community, and they did so. Upon completion of their project, they placed a little free library stocked with books at Magruder Elementary. Violet, Kendall, Via, Aaliyah, Audrey, Eleanor, Laurel, Lily, and Kaylani took on the Trex Recycling Challenge and were able to collect over 600 pounds of plastic waste. By doing so, they were able to earn a free bench for use at Camp Skimino for years to come. Sanaya, Lucinda, Ella, Lauren, and Melania identified a lack of open libraries in their neighborhood and decided to place a free little library at Bluebird Gap Farm in Hampton. The girls met together to build and paint their library and went on to deliver and install the library all together. Bella Bray took on the Trex Recycling Challenge and was able to earn a bench for the Peninsula SPCA this bench provided a space for people to get to know their furry friends that they're considering adopting. LaRue, Lillian, Lila, Kehlani, Anna, Mariah, Addison, Armani, and Victoria discussed the needs of their community and went on to host a drive-through food drive. 
Their food drive was particularly successful due to their excellent marketing skills and they were able to gather hundreds of pounds of food for donation. Troop 1359, Lily, Claire, Kaylin, Molly, Grace, Harper, Grace, and Martha spent 2020 and 2021 studying historic and present Virginia women, earned their Virginia suffrage patch and the Virginia women's history patch, and were inspired to create a video discussing the contributions of women to political society. The video was shared with others so that it can be used for educational purposes and helping others earn their Virginia suffrage and Virginia women's history patches. Alessandra Madison worked with other troops to raise awareness and collect birthday bags to be do donated to Grove Outreach Center for Children in Need. They developed and presented the Girl Scout Birthday Program, which includes facts about Girl Scout history, to daisies and brownies, also helping encourage them to raise and collect bags. Ida, Samantha, Riley, Madeline, Ryan, and Sarah researched things of importance when adopting a dog from an animal shelter by speaking with vets, SPCA employees, and other animal care professionals and developed an informational brochure that could be shared with those looking to adopt animals from the SPCA. Stephanie drew up plans, purchased supplies, and built a blessing box that was stocked with grocery items that people in her community may need. Ashlyn decided to reduce, reuse, and recycle by creating a woven mat out of plastic that was donated to Fort Oaks Day Service Center, a nonprofit in Newport News. Madeline, Ava, and Caitlin painted ceiling tiles for Centera Bell Harbor Hospital in Suffolk to help bring some positivity and light to patients and staff at the hospital. Emma and Hannah came up with a list of items that those experiencing homelessness may need and then developed a plan to stock over 50 bags full of these items and gave them to the local coalition against poverty in Suffolk. After Sophie's family welcomed a new dog, she was inspired to help animals still living in the shelter by creating toys out of recycled materials. Sophie was also able to educate others about how they could do the same. That wraps up our Bronze Award recipients. Congratulations to all those Girl Scout Juniors, and we cannot wait to see what you do next. Now we'd like to celebrate our Silver Award recipients for April 2021 through March 2022. Silver Award Girl Scouts embody female ambition. When a Girl Scout cadet focuses on an issue they care about, learn the facts, and take action to make a difference, they gain the confidence and skills needed to catapult them to a life of success. This all adds up to the Girl Scout Silver Award, the highest honor a cadet can achieve. Let's celebrate GSCCC's 6th, 7th, and 8th graders who are truly making a difference. Again, we'll go in troop order. To start, we have individually registered Girl Scout Elgin. Elgin created a happy birthday Juliet Gordon Lowe celebration, invited girls from all over to learn about Juliet Gordon Lowe, play some of her favorite games, and some Juliet Gordon Lowe trivia. Elgin spent nine months working on this event and was excited to see her vision come to life. Molly made squirrel boxes and raccoon, fox, and skunk recovery boxes in partnership with Evelyn's Wildlife Refuge. The refuge rehabilitates ill and injured wild animals and returns them to their ecosystems.
Lydia, Hannah, Natalie, and Jordan learned about Natalie and Jordan learned about the benefits of caring for wildlife after creating hammocks and fox dens for Evelyn's Wildlife Refuge. To earn their silver award, they continued their journey with wildlife rehabilitation and learned a bit more about the benefits of butterflies and bees. They created a butterfly garden and established a little free library in it geared towards butterflies and other insects that help our ecosystem. Riley and Victoria worked on projects to help care for orphaned and injured wildlife, specifically birds. They went on to help enclose the songbird habitat at a local aviation rehabilitation center. Marley created stencils that homeowners could use to remind those in the community that stormwater drains are not for dumping. By doing so, she plans to help keep trash where it belongs and out of our ecosystem. Abigail, Ember, and Alyssa planned and executed a little free library for placement at Lynn Haven Elementary School. By doing so, they were able to learn the safe use of power tools and how to get a job done. Once completed, they set up a time to install the library. Paige and Brooklyn worked together to restore the weather center at the Outback in Chesapeake. They also went on to update and refinish eight benches to help make the facilities more inviting for friends. Jillian and Madeline collected soccer jerseys, socks, and balls in partnership with Luke Messick Football Charities and were able to send this equipment to the Young Orphans Football Club in Ghana. Riley planned and conducted a horse camp that taught young kids how to ride and care for horses. She worked with the owner of Smithview Equestrian Center to conduct this camp and was involved in the process from start to finish. Marilyn hosted a book drive to help expand the young adult section in the library at her school. She found that several books were outdated and some series were not completed and wanted to help encourage her peers to get into reading. Ava completed a training with her local SPCA as a junior volunteer and went on to set up a donation box to gather donations for animals at the shelter. Ava continues to volunteer with her local SPCA. When deciding on a Silver Award project, Tyra turned to her love for community service and ministry. She partnered with the leadership at Burning Bush Worship Center to develop a food pantry. She worked on the food distribution process and was instrumental in collecting canned goods and keeping the pantry stocked. Andrea and Brianna worked with the Isle of Wight County Animal Shelter to research what was in pet foods and treats and what animals can get into at homes that is dangerous for them and developed an informational poster to share with the community to warn about dangers inside our homes and what pets can and cannot eat from the table. Levi created a council's own patch program about recycling and reusing discarded materials. She also created a website where you can find resources to help complete the patch program and learn more about recycling. Caroline, Nadia, and Kendall made homemade no-sew blankets out of fleece for animals living in a shelter. They also created two types of cat toys and were able to inform other girls through a PowerPoint presentation about how to do the same. Molly and McKenna built from scratch a free little library and donated it to the Courthouse Christian United Methodist Church and Preschool. The two also held a book donation drive to collect books to stock the little free library. Sophie, Brianna, and Reagan addressed conservation of pollinators. They partnered with the Elizabeth River Project at Paradise Creek to design and implement an educational program to teach people about the issues related to the decrease of habitats for mason bees and how the community can help by building a backyard bee house. 
Bermuda created an oyster reef on the Elizabeth River. She chose this project because she wanted to make a positive impact on the Chesapeake Bay ecosystem as she has seen firsthand some of the negative effects of humans on our ecosystem. Tegan worked hard to make 15 handmade toys and 23 handmade blankets for the animals at the Virginia Beach SPCA. Her goal was to increase the comfort and happiness of the animals at the shelter with the hopes that an increase in morale would make them more likely to get adopted. Lauren developed a plan to restore the Holy Family Edge Room, a middle school meeting space at her church. She helped update the room and make it more exciting and fresh and provided an awesome environment for her peers to learn about Christ. Caitlin of Troop 679 helped renovate spaces at Francis Asbury United Methodist Church. She helped update a new youth room space and also helped renovate the playground area for the church's preschool. Riley, Nora, Charlotte, and Allison decided to help serve the organization Untamed Spirit by partnering with them to provide new halter boxes. Untamed Spirit serves special needs children and adults and offers them an experience that is unlike any other as they get to interact with horses and find therapy through doing so. Kylie and Olivia painted and put vinyl quotes on the walls of a local high school bathroom to bring some new light and positivity to the students who stop in. Jocelyn created visual aids for teachers at a local preschool to help make reading more interactive and fun. This project is a win-win for students and teachers as teachers are able to hold attention longer and students have more fun reading books they love. Rain, Layla, Olivia, Taylor, and Mackenzie decided to make dog toys after researching some of the items their local SPCA needed. The girls went on to make a plan to incorporate recycled materials to do so and showed younger cadets and juniors how to do the project as well. They hoped for this to become an annual event for their troop. Overall, they made close to 100 toys. Girl Scout Haley looked to her faith during the pandemic for support and wanted to help others do the same. Around Easter time, she created rosary, rosaries in Lent-themed bags and different age-grouped materials to help others look to their faith as well. She also purchased and donated books for children that told the story of Easter to be given out at her church's Easter Sunday service. Jade, Maya, and Amber got creative to earn their silver award and repurposed a mini fridge into a little free library for their Gloucester community. Brittany and Melody filled the halls of their church with inspirational quotes. They met with the pastor, received approval, and made a plan to get the project done. They hope to bring some morale and positivity to parishioners who visit the church. With the help of her troop, Zola was able to build, fill, and donate a free little library to Magruder Elementary School. The girls came up with a plan, sold cookies to raise funds, shopped for supplies to build it, and were able to successfully accomplish their goal. Ada and Hannah worked with the other Girl Scouts in their troop to host a book drive and then went on to install a little free library at Bluebird Gap Farm in Hampton. Samantha made and donated over 200 fabric masks to Children's Hospital of the King Daughters for patients and visitors to use. She also used a collection of children's print fabrics and designed many of the masks in sizes ranging from preschoolers to teens to help make patients' experiences a little bit more positive. She went on to teach these skills she learned to fellow Girl Scouts. 
Grace, Addison, Emma, and Isabella chose a project, developed blueprints, shopped for materials, and installed a little free library at Walnut Hills Baptist Church and Learning Center. Abigail, Gianna, Cameron, and Mary built and painted two positivity picnic tables to be placed in the town of Kill Devil Hills. This project comes after a previous project where they created a positivity wall at the park's softball dugout. This is an area where a lot of local school children frequent and the troop hopes that it will bring a bright and cheery feel for teens visiting. Audrey and Lana worked with their local library to bring joy to the community by creating over 70 rock kits for students to paint their own positive rock messages. To help her community, Athena of Troop 5098 made face masks and donated them to Four Oaks Day Service Center, a nonprofit in Newport News. Haley of Troop 5098 decided to help Transitions Family Violence Services and was able to organize the donation of over 3,000 items to the organization. She also was able to collect scrap metal and raise more than $100 in further donations. Congratulations to all of this year's Bronze and Silver awardees. We cannot wait to see where you go next. This concludes our ceremony and we hope you have a wonderful evening, Girl Scouts.